Why do you play football? Tell us. It's the best job in the world. I mean, we've spoken a bit like of before this uh, podcast about that I have a degree in osteopathy as well. And when I finished it, I worked for half a year while we finished the season in Fulham. Or season, it was COVID, so it wasn't really a season, but still, it was trainings in the afternoon with work first. And uh, I'm not going to be one of those who say that I hate it because I didn't hate it. But it was, it was not. It was just not the same. It was nothing's like playing football. Uh, and uh, every year that I played, I felt closer and closer to the goal of being able to <clears throat> live off of it. Uh, in in Norway, really, we get student loans, uh, so we get a shit ton of money just to study. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so for the four years that I studied, I was living off the student loans because I didn't want to. Uh, you know, if you study from nine to three and then you go to training, are you supposed to work after training until 10? Then your day is completely gone. You'll be exhausted and you'll have no progress. So uh, for me, I just lived off the student loans for four years. Uh, I was lucky to be able to live at home. Uh, and then every year I felt, okay, progress, progress, progress. Now I'm really close to, to being able to live off of football. So, and now that I've done it, it's like, it's, it's the best, you know, the only thing you focus on to, to, throughout the day is those three hours of football session to be the best that you can be. Uh, and yeah, I just love training. I love developing. It's not, it's not like you might remember, uh, Patrick, me being one who really wanted to win, like at all costs, every single yeah. time. Yeah, intense. Uh, yeah, way too intense, actually, <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> and and that's, I think you you would have been surprised if you trained with me now, uh, because that's changed a lot. Now it's, yeah. now it's uh, not that I don't want to win. Of course you want to win, but for me, development comfort comes first. And again, once that, there's, there's a lot of things that changed during the, during uh 2019 season and that was one of those things uh going from a really like uh winning uh result focused mindset to to like okay how can i become a better footballer how can i develop my my attributes <clears throat> to the best level possible and and that's really almost taken over instead of like wanting to win at all costs all the time uh, and that also changed the way that I the way that I lead people to, because in follow I would shout at people all the time. I think uh, a lot of people were, if not scared, they would dislike me because I was shouting so much at them. Uh, mm. Now it's just it's completely different. <laughs> now I look at the people who shout and I'm like, do do you have to shout all the time? Like, can you? Yeah. Uh, I know you have to build up like resilience in people, but it's not all the time. You have to build people up too and, and talk to them <clears throat> and uh, like uh, support them in making mistakes because making mistakes is is crucial to development. Mm. And once I learned I, once I learned those things for myself, it was easier to okay. Hmm. Maybe that's the way you you lead people is by supporting them and making sure that they keep on trying and, and uh, develop themselves.